Well, today we are talking about editing your photos on your iPad. Let's get into it. Well, hey, what's up? My name is Tony and I'm a filmmaker photographer in the St. Louis area. Today we're talking about how you can edit your photos on your iPad. Now, as a professional, I basically edit all of my photos now on an iPad. And there's all sorts of different ways that I do that, but the majority is this way is how I do it. So I'm gonna talk you through exactly what you need, and then I'm gonna tell you how to do it on the iPad. So let's get into what you need. The first thing is obviously an iPad. I'm using a 2018 iPad Pro right now. I did upgrade to the new M1, and it's gonna be here any day but it's the same process. What you wanna look for if you're gonna be editing photos on your iPad is that it needs to have a USB-C port. Now that means the iPad Pro, the uh, 2020 iPad Pro, the new one, or the new iPad Air that they just came out with. I think it's the Air 4. That one also has a USB-C port. And the reason why is if it has a lightning, if you plug in an adapter that has multiple ports like an SD card reader and a USB, you're not gonna be able to power enough to transfer everything. So. Don't worry about those lightning ones, just get rid of them and go ahead and update to the USB-C iPads. Now, once you have your iPad, you're gonna need an adapter. This uh, lets me do a couple things. One, it has both an SD card reader and a micro SD card reader. So say I'm backing up my drone footage, I can do that very easily. The other thing this has is both USB and USB-C ports on it. That's why I like this one from Anchor. I can link it in the description below. Um, Another thing that I really like is that it has a USB-C power delivery port, which means that I can power my iPad and I can transfer data from a different uh, USB port. So this is really nice. You're gonna wanna have one of those. Other thing is that you're gonna want an SSD hard drive. You could use one that's not SSD, but we're just talking about speed here. It's just gonna slow down the process. So I recommend getting a SSD. I am using the Lassie. Doesn't really matter. They're all pretty fast once you get into that SSD, whether it's Samsung or SanDisk. Let's see, those are kind of the three big ones. Other things that I have here is just a USB-C cable and then a card with your photos on it. Now that we have everything, why don't we go ahead and dig into the iPad. All you have to do is plug in your adapter and then plug in your hard drive and plug in your SD card. Now the first thing that I like to do when I start in the iPad is I wanna back up my files so they don't get lost. So you open up the file app and all you have to do is you'll see it on the left hand side here, the EOS digital, that's your, your SD card. And then what you can do is swipe up again and then just open up another files one. And then what you wanna do on this side is it open up your hard drive. So then you just make a new folder um, by doing that and then title it whatever you want it to be. This is gonna be Arkansas Photos. Okay, now you can organize it however you want, but that's the basic idea. Then once you have your file, you just transfer over the new ones. If you, uh, you can hit select and you can just select them all. And then we will be able to drop these right onto the other side so that you can uh, transfer. What this is doing is creating a backup on your hard drive of what's on your SD card. Now you've got a backup, you've got the camera, you've also got the SSD card. Okay, now that you have them all backed up on your SSD, you have a backup so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Go ahead and unplug the SSD and get that out of the way so that we don't have to mess with it anymore. Keep the SD card plugged in and let's jump into Lightroom. Now, once we're in Lightroom, it's very simple. All you do is hit in the bottom right corner, add photos, and you can do it directly from camera device. It pulls up your SD card, and all you have to do is select the photos that you want. You can select the date, or you can select them individually, whatever is fastest for your process. Now, one thing that you wanna do is add photos to an album so that you don't just have 30,000 photos in your, in your library. So you create a new album, and then you title it whatever you want. Arkansas uh, motorcycle photos. That's what we did this past weekend. I went down to Arkansas, rode the bike on the uh, Ozark Overland Adventure Trail. 
kind of a cool thing. Check it out if you're in the area. Motorcycle photos. Now, obviously I would do this a little bit more sophisticated, but just for the example, we're putting it in here. Now, you can also do albums and folders and all sorts of things to really help you organize your library, and I suggest you stay on that as much as possible. Now, go ahead and hit import, and what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna import these photos into your library on your iPad, doing two different things. One, it puts it into the library, but two, it backs it up to the cloud. So now, once it's copied the photos to your iPad, they're actually gonna be taking up space. But the good news is, once it uploads it to the cloud, it, go ahead, it goes ahead and offloads those files. Uh, one thing you wanna kinda keep an eye on, because this can kind of uh, weigh down some of the memory of your iPad, is you wanna clear the cache once you are done uploading everything. The way you do that is you hit the little dot, dot, dot in the top right corner, you go to settings, local storage, clear cache. That will get you to uh, clear out that memory once they're backed up to the cloud. And that's it. Now your photos are backed up to the cloud and they're on your iPad and you can go about editing them however you want. All right, guys, if this video was helpful, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.